What's up guys, it's SuperO91 here. In today's video, uh, I'll be showing you the ways around uh, Blood Money and how I play it, because I've spent near enough most of my time so far on this game playing Blood Money, uh, and I want to share how I play it. But basically, what you want to do is you're going to spawn in, and you're going to want to select your class. For me, if you're playing as cops, you can't really go wrong with, uh, with the mechanic class. You want your gun of choice. For me, MPX Suppressor. I mean, you can have, obviously, you can have your gun of choice, I mean, the filthy K-10. But I prefer to have that. But make sure you have the satellite phone and armored inserts, grenade of your choice, melee weapon of your choice. And uh, we'll get going. All right, you're going to spawn in. You're going to want to run. Either way, plain as the cops, you're going to want to run this way. Again, you you know the aim of the game to get to the money pile and bring it back but normally nine times out of ten it's not like that normally you just get half arsed just sitting there wanting to spawn kill you basically if you're playing as the criminals you're gonna get cops who want to spawn kill you so basically playing as the cops here you want to make your way over to this room here and slap your spawn beacon down here so from here you're gonna I'm gonna show you another slice spot to put your spawn beacon. Every obviously this is all shoot throwable so you gotta be uber careful, but basically you put it in there, playing as a cop, you can always just jump over, always guarantee yourself a couple of kills, die respawn. Because they're just gonna all the criminals are gonna be all around here trying to kill you. So another slice spot to put your spawn beacon. It's a kind of a risky one, but a nice spot in this very room here. You slap it down here, that way you get another angle on them shoot them all through here uh, another spot which is a quite a cool spot but uh, not really probably not gonna break your spawn beacon the chance of breaking in this spot is uh, very low compared to the other spots is in this very shop here quite simply because no one ever well every time I play blood money on this map no one actually comes this side of the map so you're gonna want to head into this shop here slap it down here all right guys we're heading into this room now. Uh, a nice spot to do is always remember to close your doors because then you're at least expected. Always keep this closed because people will want to, criminals will want to come flooding through here to open it. But you want to get the element of surprise in this room. You want to head up, jump onto here, jump up here, and if it lets me, sit on top of this. Quite simply, they'll come through not expecting it because your eyes don't get drawn to here if you come into this room. So if you get, if you sit up here with your shotgun of your choice. You've got an ammo box, so you're going to be in a win-win situation. They're just going to run through here, as you can see. I'll show you. I run through here immediately. Your eyes are not going to be drawn to the to, the, to you sitting up there. Again, this way the stuff through here. You're going to run in here. Your eyes are not immediately going to be drawn to the guy sitting up there. Again, okay, and uh, another uh, another slight thing that happens on this, if you're playing as criminals, the cops will always always probably run up to here run all the way up to here and just sit here which is slightly annoying they'll just sit here and uh, want to try spawn kill you just through fury at you for no apparent reason even though they have probably 10 out of 10 on their money they just want to head over to your spawn and spawn kill the shit out of you um, yeah it's slightly infuriating but oh well uh, next spot that you'll find a lot of people is here playing as the criminals you'll find a lot of cops it's literally lingering in this area here this part of the car park all through here the whole entire car park should be will be littered with a shit ton of people uh, but you can it's really tediously frustrating but again if you could cope with it and counter it by flanking random take giving them the element of surprise go behind them if you're playing as criminals you're going to expect a lot of people around here in the car parks uh, again, players, the criminals, you're going to want to head into here. Start of the match. Basically, I'm playing as the cops right now, but if you're playing as the criminals, you want to head to here with your ammo box. You get your SAE, uh, S58, OSW, or any gun of your choice. But I like to sit up here, with, uh, playing as an enforcer. Throw your ammo box down here. Sit here, and you'll have this whole entire lobby just, just filling up with uh, a shit ton of cops. And you can just sit here for days shooting them. Back up. If you get shot, make sure you've got teammate with medic to get you up. But you always, if you're going to do that, make sure this door is closed because the doors, as you can tell, make a shit ton of noise. So you can always keep it on element of surprise. 
you can get a jump on them, it makes a shit ton of noise. But also, also, yeah. While also playing as the co uh, criminals, you want to head up to here again. You can always just vault over here. They're going to be either in that corner, they're going to be over here. And here, you're going to get the odd sniper thinking he's an awesome person, just a sniper, just sitting here trying to snipe people that just poke their head through here. So, yeah, you just vault over there playing as the criminal. And you're going to have a shit ton of people just sitting across here. They're going to be facing this way nine times out of ten on the money pile, so you can always get the jump on them. But also, remember to always blow the shit out of this, because nine times out of ten, you're going to have people in here just sitting in here shooting the shit out of you. Just remember to always check here. Always check there. Even later on in the game, you're going to have people just sitting in here like pussies, thinking, oh yeah, money pile equals free kill. But also, just, just always make sure, 100% make sure that this bit here is all empty because you're going to have the odd arsehole sitting in there and uh, that's it for how I play the block uh, if you enjoy not block sorry bang job bang job block there block will be my next video but it won't be for a while uh, I hope you enjoyed me showing you the way I play blood money on bang job uh, if you did remember to uh, drop a like uh, comment on how you play it and subscribe for more Battlefield Hardline and I will catch you in the next video.